What's up, beautiful world? This is r slash TNA, and welcome to another episode of r slash I don't work here, lady. Remember to hit that like and subscribe button and notification bell anytime during this video. If this is your first time on this channel, we welcome you. If this is not your first time, welcome back. Enjoy the stories of r slash I don't work here, lady. Our first story is grocery store Karen needs that cart wiped down now. Ever since COVID, I've been really careful going to the grocery store. Masks, gloves, full length clothing, the works. Back in April or May, our local QFC used to have workers to spray and wipe down carts. But after a few months, they stopped. And now there are self serve wipes available for all customers to disinfect their cart if they want. Well, apparently, some people didn't get the memo. Multiple times now, someone has mistaken me for an employee while I'm wiping my cart. Can you do this one next? Or are these clean? But then they look closer at me and apologize. Usually I brush it off with a laugh. Living in a predominantly white neighborhood as a POC gives you a thick skin until today. First, while I'm wiping down, there's a sudden yank on the cart and it hits my arm. I look up to see a middle aged lady trying to pull away with my cart mask below her chin. Out of instinct, I grab the other side and pull back. This surprises her and she looks up, but doesn't let go. Me, excuse me, what are you doing? K, no response, yanks again. Me, let go please. K, no more yanking, but doesn't let go either. After a 10 second staring contest, K, whiny high pitched, I need a clean cart. Me, then get one yourself. K, I'm in a hurry. Me, there are wipes right behind you. K, long pause. Well, can you clean another one? Me, I don't work here. K, angry stare, not letting go. I need this one now. At this point, the cart is no longer clean, but darn it, it's the principle of the thing. Years of letting it go is also bubbling to the top now as I stare into the face of this entitled woman who has likely gotten her way all her life. Not this time. Me, F off lady, step away from my cart and go get your own and put that mask back on. She finally lets go by pushing the cart back towards me, grabs another one and loudly complains all the way into the store. Later, I see her getting stopped by the manager and arguing about keeping her mask on. As a conflict averse person, I felt really proud of standing my ground and had to post this here as soon as I got home. And this next r slash I don't work here lady story is wearing all black. I am a hairstylist of about eight years. Almost all of my salons have required me to wear all black for a uniform of sorts. Dress code policies. Occasionally, I'll go shopping after work around the mall I work near. Here are some important context. I used to work at a major retail chain. If any of you know, certain things just stay with you when you leave a retail job. One of which I absolutely cannot see somebody just leave a clothes display a wreck. I have an extreme impulse to just refold whatever it was. Yeah guys, did you know there's real humans that have to clean up your mess in retail? I know, it's shocking. This scenario has happened more than once. I walk into a retail store to do some shopping, see somebody pick up clothing, look at it, throw it down in a crumbled mess. I will try my hardest not to shoot them some side eye as I refold whatever it was. Out of the corner of my eye, I notice someone is lurking behind me. I turn to make eye contact with the shirt crumpler. Can you help me? Do you know where X item is? I reply with, oh, uh, I don't work here, sorry. But you're dressed like you are. I saw your lanyard. The customer is argumentative for some reason. They gesture to me as if I'm not aware of what I look like. I sigh, pointing to my brightly colored Tokidoki lanyard decorated with Pikachu pins. Nah, these are just my car keys. I don't work here. Oh, the customer looks at me, looks at the clothes I was just folding, frowns. Oh, you don't? Their tone somewhat indicates they're attempting to process this info, or perhaps they are suspicious. Ultimately, they walk away slightly annoyed or perhaps embarrassed. I wish I could count the amount of times a scenario such as this has happened. Even though I am a hairstylist, I suffer from extreme social anxiety outside of work. And honestly, inside of work. There have been a couple times I bring a change of clothes to appear more incognito 
when I plan to go shopping in the hopes of avoiding the army of Karens. Reminder, be nice to retail workers and refold the gosh darn displays. Man, that brings back memories because I used to work in retail myself and I can definitely contest to that where every time I do go shopping into a mall or anywhere and I see clothes that are just folded up and bundled, it frustrates the heck out of me. I'd be like, oh no, they didn't just do that. Yep, they did. And for those of you out there, leave your comments below. What do you do? <laughs> do you refold to the best of your ability or do you just bundle up saying, you know what, I don't work here, that's their job. Let us know in the comments below. And this next r slash I don't work here lady story is, can I buy you a drink? So I was standing outside a bar waiting for my friend who just went to go use the bathroom. I was about 12 drinks in, so I was standing there with my arms crossed trying to keep my balance when this really cute girl walks up to me. She smiles and I ask her her name, tell her my name, tell her she looks cute, etc, etc. And then I ask her if I could buy her a drink. She replied, oh, I'm sorry, I thought you were the bouncer. I laughed so darn hard. Wow, <laughs> I'm glad that he had a good attitude because uh, some fellas, they may not have taken it like that and just laughed it off. They may have been upset, frustrated, and said a few things. But uh, fellas, leave your comments below, and ladies as well, leave your comments below and let us know if you've ever experienced a similar story to this. And this next r slash I don't work here lady story is, ma'am, that's not the coworker I pointed you to. I do work at the place the story happens at. I was the employee in the scenario. So this past weekend, I was taken out of the print department I work in to work register because our store is short staffed. I was on register all day, minding my own business and checking people out. And at one point we got a sort of small rush. I called for backup because people didn't look like they wanted to wait and my coworker in the print department across the front of the store said she could take someone at her register. I had just finished checking a mother and daughter out for a cart full of items and her mother was on the phone at the first, out of commission because you can't follow the six foot social distancing rule at that one, register, while her daughter took some of the complimentary hand sanitizer that was on the counter there. I called the next customer up and started to scan his items and let the lady behind him know that she and her friend were welcome to go check out at the other register if they didn't want to wait in line. Me, ma'am, she can get you over there. Points across the open front area of the store where you can clearly see my coworker standing under a big print department sign waiting to check out the next customer. Dumb lady, DL. Oh, okay, thanks. Walks to the first register, immediately starts talking to the woman on the phone and her daughter mom and daughter, confused, head shaking. Before I could tell her that they weren't employees, my manager stepped in and let her know and pointed again in the direction of the print department. She apologized to the mother and daughter and walked off. A few seconds later, I heard the loud, awkward laugh of someone who embarrassed himself and I looked up to see that instead of walking to the copy and print department or paying attention to the fact that everyone who works at my store wears the same outfit, she started trying to reach over the half wall that stands between our cart return area and our self-serve printers so she could make the old man who was sending a fax on the self-serve machine ring her out. I assume my co-worker walked over to take her to the print department register, but I honestly don't know. I never saw her walk out of the store, so for all I know, she's still wandering around asking cardboard display people to ring her up. And this next r slash I don't work here lady story is... Me, I don't work here, I need to find my dad. Lady, you do work here, you will help me. Okay, so my father and I went to Walmart to pick up a couple of things. I went off to the clothing section to pick out a couple of new tops. This lady comes out of nowhere, grabs my arm, and proceeds to tell me I need to help her find some things. I think, okay, maybe she just needs another opinion. I do that, and she starts dragging me around Walmart. I tell her I need to find my dad and she says, don't lie to me, I know you work here. I'm baffled. I'm not even wearing a uniform. I proceed to tell her that I don't in fact work there and she starts going off of me saying she knows I do and at this point, my dad comes up and asks me what's taking so long. I tell him and he tells the lady the same thing. I do not work there. Okay, she doesn't believe my dad. We find a clerk. She'll have to believe someone who actually works there. 
Nope. Not even believing the clerk. We had to get the manager in order to even get the lady to let me go. Those were five great stories. To hear my best suggested stories, click on the video to the left. To hear more I don't work here lady stories, click on the video to the right. Click on that subscribe button right there in the middle and make sure to like and leave your comments below. Thank you for listening. Have yourself a great day.